G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an American 180 submachine gun. Players of Fallout New Vegas will probably recognize this thing off the bat as a 22 caliber silence SMG. Right now, there's no suppressor on this, although that is an option to get. And it does look a little bit like a Thompson, especially with this handguard and the stock and grip there. But it is a little bit different. Obviously, this thing's going to be firing the 22 long rifle rounds, which are small, teeny tiny, compared to what you get out of a Thompson, which is the 45 uh, automatic Colt rounds, I believe. And we're not going to get a lot of damage out of this. We're going to be killing our foes via mosquito bites. We're getting 21 damage right now, and that is going to be slashed in half thanks to very hard difficulty. So it's going to be a little bit of a slog today, I think, but will persevere regardless. So this thing has custom animations, of course, and one of the quirky features of this, obviously you can see it here, is this massive pan magazine on the top, and that'll actually rotate as you fire as well, and rotate along its hinges when you actually fully empty the magazine too. I don't know exactly how they did that, but we tend to not see a lot in the way of you know, animated magazines when it comes to weapon mods, so I think that's actually really cool, and I'm actually wondering how exactly Nova Finch accomplished that, but that is a question for another day. You're probably wondering what attachments I can put on this. Can I make it tactical? Yes. Should I? No. Uh, we, aren't, we aren't asking too many other questions why. We're just going to roll with it, roll with the punches, and we'll accept exactly what we're seeing. So right now we've got the weathered receiver. We can crank that all the way up to military trials. You can also have a receiver which increases your rate of fire by a substantial amount. Probably not that great in terms of your overall DPS. I think I'd actually take that extra 10% with the military trials, although this thing might be good just outside of its range a little bit compared to this one, but I think for controllability purposes, we'll go for the military trials. Also, it requires rank 1 in Intimidation, so you're going to need Charisma 10 just to equip this under normal circumstances, which we're definitely playing in right now. Don't worry about it. And right now, we've got the 18.5-inch factory barrel. Let's change that to a 24-inch or 24.9 extended barrel. That'll give us a little bit more range, and it's the highest range we can get. There is an integrally suppressed barrel, so if you want to have this thing a little bit closer to its for that New Vegas variant, then you can go ahead and do that, but you'll cost yourself a lot of range, and that's not good. Keep in mind that we can attach muzzle attachments onto this, and it's going to get crazy when we do that, but that's there if you want it. I personally wouldn't recommend it, and we can change this wooden grip to a tactical pistol grip, which will improve the weapon handling a little bit. Right now, we can put a magazine in here that chambers it in just a long rifle rounds, which we've already got loaded, but if we want a little bit more damage with extra fire rate because there's a little bit more of a powder and it gets the internals back a little bit quicker to rechamber the next round, at the cost of recoil, we can actually improve the damage even more and get a 365 magazine or round magazine there, which is almost enough days as there is in a year, not counting leap years, of course. Yes, that's exactly the amount of days in a year. So right now, we're doing 44 damage, so we're climbing up ever so slightly. Now, with these extended magazines, you'll find that some of these reflex sights will just be a little bit low. So if you want to extend the magazine, either attach a scope that'll allow you to sort of see over it, or get a sight that is nice and raised up. The Basker sight, good option for that. The Cobra Red Dot sight from the Russians can actually do pretty well. That's actually sitting, that's clearing it by a significant margin. So I think I'm going to throw that on, even though that is a technically cursed a Russian sight on an American weapon. I know, very bad. And right now we've got just a steel counterweight for the muzzle. We can put a range of muzzle brakes and also compensators on it, including a giant one here that you'd probably see on a 50 caliber rifle. Not really designed for this caliber weapon. Yes, I gathered that. Also, you can put a giant cookie cutter compensator on it too, just in case the recoil is a little bit too much. Will require rank 5 in commando, so <laughs> you got to be perked up to make this thing. But what you want to do instead of all of that is screw all that noise, we'll put the biggest, longest suppressor on it. And not only is it off the screen right now, but it's also got an yet another muzzle brake sort of thing on the front. Glorious. Now we're up to 55 damage now. 
Brilliant. Right now we've got a fixed stock. We can push that up to have a wire stock, collapse it, or extended it. You can have a Kalashnikov stock, which would make this thing even more cursed, but we can do slightly better than that. A buffer tube for no stock at all. A couple of other American-looking ones. You've got the Magpul one here, which is a marksman stock, so that in real game terms just makes your scope aiming more steady, which is not going to be super relevant for a weapon that is only ever available in an automatic fashion. So we'll go for this one, which I would assume would be the recoil compensating. Not that there's going to be a lot of recoil here, just trying to make sure the spread on this thing doesn't bloom out too far whilst firing this thing in an automatic fashion. And you can change the materials on this, you can clean up the metal with a wood or polymer grip, or you can spray it with a bunch of these cool camos, including this one down the bottom called Operation Anchorage, and it says, Sim death, real death. The cold white Alaska is stained with the blood of thousands fighting a war with who no one could win. Something like that. Very good description, and that sold me on the paint job there. A little bit of digital white and red there. I, I quite like that. A little bit silly looking, but wait, there you go. So right now, we've currently got 22 Magnum, I suppose in poor quality, because, well, that's as much damage we're getting. And if you want to skip all of these, there's a couple of interesting ones, like the Fleshettes, which will split your damage into different rounds not a good idea for something that's damaging already at a so low of a number so don't do that over pressure ones will increase your fire rate or range a bit more recoil along with that frangible not going to get a lot of wounding damage out of a round so small incendiary is funky because you get a little bit of extra flame damage which is completely unresisted by any other any vanilla game means there that's probably going to be your strongest per bullet damage there unless i can find something else and even if i go down to the bottom here with critical defense that's 63 if i go back up to this that's 82 uh, 87 if you add in that energy damage too which is fairly insignificant however that's probably going to be your best shot in doing as much damage as possible. So, interesting how they let the uh, Skyrim flame damage be in there, knowing that there's nothing in the game that can actually withstand that in normal circumstances. And you'll actually need 40, uh, five, five, six rounds to make these things, but I don't think any of these are super relevant. In terms of bullet, normal bullet performance, this is definitely your best bet but definitely go for that sweet, sexy incendiary. We're going to burn them, too. We're going to make... I don't know how much incendiary effect you can pack into a tiny little thing, but we've actually lost a little bit of range from that, a significant amount of range, but honestly, it's not really a high-range weapon anyway, and we're not going to be hitting stuff from too far out, so I don't think I'm making a whole lot of uh, really penalties, or I'm not really penalizing myself all that much there but we'll have this incendiary we'll create others to test out other round things but for now we'll just leave it at that and you can make this look more like a thompson with the uh thompson looking foregrip there or you could put a tactical handguard there which has picatinny rails for chuck to for chucking on four laser sights if you want or you could do this and put a like a chris vector looking grip on there perfect awesome let's put that on that that makes sense right and you get rails on the left on the right and also on the uh bottom and top as well and you can actually mount optics on this as well so if you want to keep the accuracy stat of having one reflex sight there and attach a scope that'll just override what you aim and see through anyway you can totally do that if you want we might utilize that on another weapon but this one we'll just keep with the standard red dot sight we'll have a laser sight on the side if we need it and you can change the reticule style i'm not going to go through all of those you could experiment with that on your own time i suppose so now i've got this thing chambered in 22 ilarcos let's talk about actually getting this thing and its rounds as with recent trends of gun mods that i've been testing there's just stuff on the chemistry workbench for you to just conjure this out of nothing and you can get the rounds the short magnum and the long rifles obviously they'll take a little bit more of your resources crafting them but you do get them in pretty big batches the 22s go for 100 a pop for lead oil and steel 
but you'll need a little bit of copper to make the short magnum rounds. And of course, you can craft the weapon directly from here with absolutely zero requirements. So, you know, it's going to be a fairly early game weapon, which you'd probably ditch for a pipe gun anyway, because the pipe gun will always out damage it. So, I don't know what the purpose of this weapon is in terms of its balance and how you'd use it in the game. Maybe it's style points, but we'll just see how we go. Also worth mentioning that the 22 long rifle rounds have all of their own individual ammo types as well. Incendiary is still there. Ricin payload is cool because it gives you poison damage. The only problem is that's completely worthless against anything that's not human because mostly everything is just immune to poison damage as it is. But that's an interesting one to have there. There's also an explosive. There's some lead round noise. There's some... Rat shot there, which is not good for doing damage at all. Sure, it'll get you extra damage in the card, but there's going to be splitting up between two uh, small projectiles, probably more than two to be honest. But yeah, that's probably not good for getting any damage, especially in very hard difficulty. The strongest one for just standard bullets would be the Lapua Midas Plus Ballistic. It says the best general purpose round you can get, and blah 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 blah. Alright, so the slaughter of my health bar begins out here outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza, and this is what the American 180 looks like in first person. Looks pretty cool. I like how the sight's closer to your face when you're not aiming down sights. Interesting how that all works out. I've created a couple of these. This one's got the giant EOTech, and it's, I, it's great. I, I don't mind it. It takes up a lot of the screen, but... That ridicule, though, you could pick that out from a bloody mile away. Excellent. And this one has a thermal scope, which we can't really use at the moment. But if I see the gunners, you'll see that it actually lights them up kind of like night vision. I don't tend to use thermal scopes all the time, but I wanted to use that functionality. And perhaps if it gets too dangerous, I'll just let it go to nightfall and use a suppressed 22 submachine gun during the night. That might be slightly healthier for us at least that's what it looks like in first person when you reload the magazine just seems to just flip off and go into nowhere and you pull the other one out of your pocket and there's the real animations anyways let's not dilly dally any longer because we've got some gunners to kill and uh well this is probably going to be a little bit on the uh on the painful side we'll see how we go well we seem to get like 190 damage with the sneak criticals rolling but we got detected pretty quickly there and now i am going to run around the side here maybe we'll have another squiz no okay they're, they're armed with mg42s again that's going to make our job pretty hard indeed but anyways feel the power of the 22 death by mosquito bites is the name of the game and i i can't really see what i'm shooting at so i'm kind of glad that i uh installed the mod that has the uh, nameplates and health bars over them. It, it's like we're shooting Skyrim uh, flames at them. Just the standard flames that every character starts with. You know the ones I'm talking about. And it's just not doing a whole lot of damage. They're like Bandit Outlaws in the early game. Yeah, guess who's doing Skyrim stuff off screen. Yeah. So it looks like at close range, we can actually get a decent amount of damage. And if we want to just slightly tilt the camera up a little bit, because it's like a, co a constant bullet barrage, right? So I may as well try to gamble on some headshots there. That little gunner there was, uh, well, let's just say it took a little bit more shooting to kill her than normal, which I guess could be said for all of the gunners here. But anyways, that was the incendiary variant. It's, it's something. It's like, it's almost a flamethrower at this stage. A flamethrower with tiny little, bit, tiny little bits of metal strewn about too. It's uh, not a very effective weapon. So let's switch over to the cookie cutter explosive variant. Okay, well, the firecrackers are at least annoying them a little bit. And I think, I, I don't know if this is intentional or not but as you can tell you get a lot of shots off in bats so potentially we kind of want to start utilizing that instead of like nothing at all although i'm guessing we'll probably slightly out of range then and we're just botting them out on the damage as much as possible and you my friend have a 
MG42, which means you're getting the bats treatment, because otherwise I'm going to get wrecked, and that's not good. Keep going. Keep going. Never mind crit that, because our, we've got no penetration power, and I guess we'll just kick you while you're down. Slightly nudge you down the stairs as we fire explosive pep uh, peppers. Maybe they could be peppers. You, you, don't know what, you don't know what radiation has done to those peppers. Well, New Vegas said nothing because apparently they were still around. But anyways, uh, I guess what we're going to do is just going to use this thing a little bit in vats. Yes, take that. All right, let's switch over to the third variant here. This one's just got the standard 22 rounds, but it might be slightly better. And look at that. That's a knockdown and 115 damage on the head. Very nice. And we might actually get some gun fill action here because I'm pretty sure we can probably max out all of our shots in that. So we have a fourth target. That's going to be an immediate crit. So now we just wait. Whoa, now. Blink and you'll miss that VATS run. Holy crap. I don't know what caused that. I didn't expect that to happen, but that was excellent. And also, the, they retain their glow a little bit after you stop aiming down sights, which is fun. Okay, so normally, um, rifles of the automatic variety don't get knockdowns. And look, I think the last round you'd expect to knock down a gunner dressed in combat armor would be a 22 round. But apparently, we can do that. So, intentional... No idea. I really should have grabbed more targets. We'll try to get another good gun fur run. Go four for you. Three for you. Another four there. And finish off the rest here. Perfect. All right. Go for it. Oh, she's going again. Oh, wow. We totally wasted all of that. Those are all criticals, though, for that last shot. We actually got a heal out of that because we leveled up, but... I have to wonder whether that... Okay, well, we're shooting that now. Why not? I have to wonder whether the um, gun foo is... Is that supposed to happen? I don't know. It could just be the fact that the game couldn't be bothered showing me the cinematic effects for all of these rounds. And knowing that we can easily just, like, turbocharge vats and get a whole bunch of shots in, I'm just going to throw some extra criticals at that. No, you're firing directly into a thing there. Not a single bullet penetrated through. I'm also... Yeah, I see you, MG42, poking through there menacingly. Not cool. Alright, let's try to do this again. We should only take a couple of bursts here. And for this one, we don't bother with the full drop the hammer and shoot everything. Oh, there she goes. She wanted to do that after it was dead really don't know what's up with that but let's switch back to the incendiary see oh boy nope get that going quick 66 81 so it appears that despite my earlier claims uh, the magnum version with the incendiary rounds doesn't actually do as much damage as i thought and which means it's probably not the best pick because you'll notice that when you're shooting at stuff outside of vats you can barely see it Thankfully, there's hit markers and uh, their nameplates floating above their heads just to help me figure out where exactly I'm aiming this thing. So, I could just, you know, sneak crit this. I'm going to shoot that grenade. Come on, do the grenade. Yep. Never mind, I shot that right in front of me and now I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by little Miss Gunner there with a bloody MG. Put that fucking thing down. That was a nice critical. She's gone another grenade. I don't know if she actually pulled the pin on that, but... You know what? Let's switch this back over to the explosive. Let's take out this guy's leg. I want to see if we can get a decent cripple here. Well, maybe? He's staggering a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's totally down there. So there might yet be utility in the weapon... Just wait till he stops shooting, then we'll run around here. He can't possibly get me now. So the utility in the explosive rounds might not just be to drop your frames if you've got a lesser system. Um, it might just be to 
literally make sure they don't um, move. And if they don't move, then they're not going to be able to shoot you if you run around them or hit you if they're a melee character. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. You gotta find you gotta find other ways of uh, dealing with your foes instead of straight up attacking them. I suppose. Can you knock down a target who's got his, both his legs crippled? It doesn't look like we can, but yeah, the thermal scope probably a little bit not worth it in a daytime situation. But you know, I want to show off that you can make your enemies glow and stuff. So why not? So the last room here is. Uh, this room and we're still in danger despite not being actually physically seen by these guys the whole time yep we'll knock you down I suppose what you could do with this knockdown is like sort of juggle them a little bit which we did pretty effectively there now I'm gonna wait until night time I'm gonna try to kill a monster real fast I don't have a lot of time here I know this is dragged on a little bit especially that Initial attachment section, so we'll find something a little bit more squishy than normal. Alright, let's try to get some kills with the sneak attack criticals, and if we can knock this sucker down... Okay, so we're in caution, and we only got sneak criticals for a little moment, although we've been pushing him around a little bit. It looks like we can probably get away with it in this case. And we've got this giant magazine, so I guess we'll just keep shooting at his completely lifeless ragdolling corpse. This is probably the weakest, most overpowered gun I've ever used. And is it designed in such a way to make it more of a... I'm struggling to wrap my head around what exactly this thing is, because obviously it's not a damage dealer, it's more of a utility weapon, but you can do stuff like that, like the knockdown. Also, cool glowing ghoul blood. Excellent. That's interesting. Um, and you've got like a sniping ability too although like sneak criticals don't really work all that well i wonder if that's something to do with how this weapon's made is it the rounds per minute that we're getting out of this that just makes it completely impossible for the game to actually get the sneak criticals uh, calculated but it managed to happen there we started shooting at him and then for a brief moment or two we just didn't get the sneak criticals and then it started rolling in as he was on the ground and facing completely away from me so it's such a bizarre weapon mod and having all of that power to use in vats and whether that just completely super turbocharged mega vats rounds where you just would almost honestly lack fallout 76 gun through where you could just hold down the trigger and the game will just target stuff for you like that kind of speed in real time is that intentional too i've got no idea what i do know and what i can tell you is that this is a pretty high quality weapon mod and it might be worth your time a little bit in the early game just for a little bit of fun if you're bored with the standard pipe guns and stuff that you'd usually find in the games at that stage so you know you might want to check this out have a little bit of a look at it and if you don't like it then you can uninstall it and you'll have paid absolutely nothing Unless you've gone over your internet usage, then you're in a little bit of trouble there. But overall, it's pretty solid. Link in the description if you're interested in it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Also, classic holstered weapons. It works with that. A little bit of clipping with the uh, giant pan magazine, though. But don't worry about it. That That's supposed to be like that.